Hi, it's Katrina. From an underwater palace to King Arthur's resting place, here are 10 mystical and magical worlds we really wish existed. Number 10, Narnia. From C.S. Lewis's Chronicles of Narnia books, Narnia is one of countless worlds, including our own, that exists in a multiverse. On occasion, such as through a portal in the wardrobe, special beings are able to travel between the worlds, although it's rare to be able to do so. Narnia itself is a large landmass encircled by an ocean. The country of Narnia is a lush and fertile land to the north of the continent, but there are a number of other countries too, like Arkinland, Kellerman, and Telmar. It's a place with both magical and non-magical creatures that are native to Narnia, and some human populations that were brought through from our world. Aslan, the talking lion, was the son of the emperor over the sea, and is the guardian and savior of all of those in Narnia, as well as being the one who created the world in the first place around a lamppost from London. There is a wide range of species here, from centaurs and unicorns to nymphs, dwarves, and fawns, and it's a place where peace prevails, with everyone working towards the common good. With such beautiful scenery, magic, and talking animals, who wouldn't want to visit Narnia if it truly existed? Number 9. Agartha The notion that the Earth is in fact hollow and that there are kingdoms within it that are accessible through the North and South Poles, or volcanoes, has been suggested for centuries. If the stories are right though, then this place, often called Agartha, would be a very mystical place. In the 1864 book, A Journey to the Center of the Earth by Jules Verne, the adventurers entered through a volcano in Iceland. On their travels, they encountered vast caverns that were host to peculiar life, such as giant mushrooms, prehistoric trees, and dinosaurs, as well as huge lakes, rivers, and giants. Other stories refer to ancient races, subterranean gardens, an internal sun, and even the original homes of our ancestors. Most representations talk of Agartha as being the way that the world's surface used to be, unaffected by human activity and cataclysmic events. This pristine oasis would be unlike anywhere else on Earth as we know it, and would be a peaceful, calm escape from the rest of the world. Number 8. The Dragon Palace The Dragon Palace, called Ryu Ugu Jo, comes from Japanese folklore and is the undersea palace of the dragon kami of the sea, Ryujin. Different variations of the legend speak of the castle being made from either solid crystal or from red and white corals. Ryujin's family and servants lived in the castle with him, where supposedly each of its four corners have different seasons, and one day passing on the inside sees 100 years passing on the outside. From within the castle, Ryujin controlled the powerful forces of the ocean with magical jewels, and the Katase Enoshima Station in Fujisawa takes design inspiration from references to the underwater city. With glorious architecture and the power to control the tidal forces of the seas, who wouldn't want to visit the Dragon Palace? And now for number 7. But first, let me know which magical place you wish existed in the comments, and be sure to subscribe if you are new here. Number 7. Cocaine in medieval times, life was tough for most people. They had to work every day in the fields and rarely, if ever, were able to enjoy any luxuries. Because of this, the whimsical land of Cocaine was created, a place where life's rules turned upside down and it was a place where the common peasant could dream of. Here, the poor are rich, food and sex were freely available, and the most admired trait was being carefree. There were numerous mentions of Cocaine, but the most famous account comes from a poem from about 1350 called The Land of Cocaine. In this poem, the land is described as being full of fruit and saints, but no alcohol. There are no horses, pigs, or other domestic animals because, in their absence, there is no waste to have to clear up or animals to take care of, nor are there any other animals that make normal life tricky, such as snakes or foxes. There is no nighttime in Cocaine, no storms, and no death. The rivers flow with oil, milk, honey, and wine, and the only use of water is to clean yourself. This is similar to many ideas from Greek mythology. With all the food and drink that you could ever want, no need to do anything you don't want to, and none of the difficulties faced in day-to-day -day life, cocaine has been dreamt of by countless people over the ages and would be great if it actually existed. Number 6. Middle Earth no list of magical worlds would be complete without Middle-earth, the setting for J.R.R. Tolkien's series of novels most famously, The Hobbit and Lord of the Rings. Perhaps you've heard of it. 
It's on the world known as Arda and is one of the largest continents. To the west of Middle Earth is Amman, and to the east is the land of the sun, being separated from both by large oceans. The lands of Middle Earth are full of scenic views, whether it be the Blue Mountains to the west, the coastal region of Belfalas, the green grass of Hobbiton, or the various forested realms. Beyond the geography of Middle Earth, there are the magical creatures who live there. There are seven main races, the elves, men, dwarves, hobbits, ents, orcs, and trolls, as well as magical entities known as Valar and Maiar. It's hard to keep track of everyone. Of course, not everyone here is friendly, and there are plenty of dangers to overcome in Middle-earth, but that's surely a risk worth taking to be able to visit. Or you could just go to New Zealand. I've heard it's pretty close. Number 5. El Dorado Of all of the mystical places in South America, El Dorado is by far the most famous. It was, at first, the name given by the Spanish to the chief of the Muisca tribe who lived in Colombia and dressed in all gold. The name then became used to describe a ceremony of the tribe, who covered elders with liberal amounts of gold dust and gold ornaments before pushing them on a raft onto Lake Guadavita, where they would throw everything into the water for ceremony. The Spanish soon believed that all of this gold must have come from somewhere, a city where it was stored that then became known as El Dorado. Countless people set off on the quest to find the legendary city of gold, but as of yet, its location isn't known. That is, if it ever existed at all. Said to contain temples built of gold, endless mounds of gems and jewelry, and treasures beyond your wildest imagination, the search has consumed the lives of hundreds of people, led to a suicide and even an execution. If the legendary city of gold were to truly exist, it would really be a sight to behold. Number 4. Zerzura Deep in the Sahara Desert, west of the Nile and in Egypt or Libya, is said to be the mystical city of Zerzura. A mysterious text from the 15th century called the Book of Hidden Pearls talks of a whitewashed city in the desert with a large bird carved on the gate. To enter, it is said you need the key in the beak of the bird to enter the door to the city, and it's there that you'll find great riches. Often called the oasis of little birds, it's believed to be the resting place of a sleeping king and queen who will one day reawaken. The only problem for visitors is that the oasis is guarded by black giants, who prevent people from reaching the place. If you do manage to make it past them, they will make it impossible for you to stay. 100,000 years ago, the Sahara was a green land, with rivers that ran through, so it's completely possible that an ancient city was once built here. If it were to exist now, though, it would be a stunning retreat in the treacherous surroundings and a treasure to the world. Number 3. Neverland Neverland is the fictional world visited by the characters in the Peter Pan stories by J.M. Barrie. According to the novels, Neverlands are islands within children's minds, but in one instance an actual island raised up from the ground because of the power of imagination. Peter Pan said that the route to the island was by following the second star to the right and straight on till morning, but he made this up on the spot, and they only found Neverland because it itself was searching for them. There are lots of unique places in Neverland, such as Never Peak Mountain, where you can see over everything, Mermaid Lagoon, Pixie Hollow, the Fairy Glade, and Croc's Grotto, among others. With inhabitants including fairies, mermaids, and pirates, it's a unique and magical place. Oh, and did I mention that anyone that visits stops growing old? Number 2. Pokemon World There's perhaps nothing more successful in modern entertainment than Nintendo's Pokemon, a game that's based in a magical world that would be great if it really existed. Pokemon World is an Earth-like planet where humans and these cute little creatures live alongside each other. There are 12 known regions across the globe, but there could be countless more. The place is slightly more technologically advanced than our own, and the people have learned to live in harmony with the magical creatures that live there, for the most part. In total, there are more than 807 different varieties of Pokémon, each of which can be befriended, captured, and battled with against other trainers. Pokémon become a part of people's everyday lives, whether it's to help you fish, to provide electricity to machinery, help with archaeological digs, or even helping in a hospital. As such a popular game, the Pokémon world is one of the most wished-for ones to actually exist, although if images from the latest movie are anything to go by, it could turn out to be a lot creepier than most would like to imagine. Number 1. Avalon Avalon is an island mentioned throughout the tales of Arthurian legend, and was the place where his body was taken following his death, 
where one day he would come back to life and return. It was said that it was in Avalon that Morgan Le Fay learned the magic of the ancients, as it was the place where magic originated. It's also where the legendary sword Excalibur was forged and is ruled over by a group of nine sisters. Travel to the island is only possible by boat, and it remains hidden by a veil of mist. Despite Avalon's importance to the stories of King Arthur, it's only mentioned and no full descriptions are ever given. Some have suggested there's a castle on the island, and it's long been thought that Glastonbury Tor, which once was surrounded by water, was the inspiration behind the legend. With so much magical power running through it, its restorative abilities and mysterious nature, Avalon is one of the most mystical places ever to be part of a legend, and undoubtedly the place that we really, really wish existed. Thanks for watching! Which one is your favorite? Let me know in the comments below, and be sure to subscribe before you leave! See you next time! Bye!